Hi, so in this lesson, we are going to, it's going to be very similar to last month's lesson. We're going to be working from the same master drawing, and except we're going to be using charcoal. And I think there's something to gain from using the same drawing that we did, or the same reference drawing that we did last in the last lesson. Um, you should be somewhat familiar with it, and I think that when you are, there's more to be gained the second time, third time around. Um, the charcoal is, um, uh, let's say, a little less precise, um, and it's going to move around a little easier. Uh, so I think it's it's more painterly for a, a drawing medium, and um, and I love it. So we're going to use it. So have fun with it. Okay, so again, I'm going to uh, work in my sketchbook. I have two, I thought I had three, yeah. I have three pieces of charcoal. Um, they're either vine charcoal or willow charcoal. Charcoal, I'm really not sure, but um, here I have a couple different sizes. And I um, always start with the, the heavier one, the fatter one. And then I have a kneaded eraser, which is filthy. But there it is. It'll probably still work. And then um, I've already gone ahead and transferred the image from my traceable using my homemade carbon paper that I just scribble. This might be charcoal, but you can either charcoal or pencil to do that. And since this is kind of the line, I'm not crazy about the line that it produces when you do that. I'm just going to kind of smudge some of it away just to soften that so I just have a trace of it because that line is really rather ugly and this one we're just going to do in charcoal um, and see what we get and um, we can, can kind of compare the differences um, and you can see if you prefer the, the uh, pencil or the charcoal and immediately, I have gone right in here to the stark area for no particular reason, but maybe to just establish something bold. But I need to go in here and find these features. This drawing is originally, well, it gives you millimeters, which is 236 millimeters by 156 millimeters. And, of course, I had no idea how big that was. So I converted it, and it's about 9 and a half, uh, by 6 inches, which is relatively small for a drawing. Um, and it's about the size that this is here. This is about nine by six. So we're kind of working with the original size as well. All right, I'm just finding the features. And the drawing. So pretty much there it is. And since charcoal is so good about filling in the values, we're just going to go right ahead and just do that. Since we have a rough idea of where our drawing is, I'm going to go ahead, block in those values, or some of them initially. Initially, that's what we're going to do here. And I'm almost finding that this chunky piece is maybe a little too chunky. Might go to the medium size here before too long. But I want to just 
block in some of these values so that I can actually go in maybe with the eraser and start to draw with the eraser as well by removing stuff that isn't working. But you can't start to remove stuff until you get something down. So I think that is the agenda here right now. It's just to get some things in there without losing the drawing. I am going to move to the, actually I'm going to move into this, this little piece so that I can go back in and make sure that I don't lose the drawing, which I really haven't, but I just maybe wanted to go and define some lines here that I really couldn't do or couldn't really see with that big piece. Couldn't really see it, the big piece in my hand, so... So this is this exercise is just just to have fun and and it, you can see it's it's getting a little quirky and and I don't want you to be afraid when it starts to do that it can be fun it can it can just yeah be okay with it and um, just keep moving through it. And you can either go back in and adjust things later. But right now, you're not going to worry about it. Because it's still so early in the beginning stages of this drawing that when things start to get a little quirky, it's fine. It really is not to worry about it. Okay, I'm fine with that little one. I'm going to go with the medium size one and maybe start to get some values and going around the eyes. You, 
it's when charcoal you can just mush it around so so well and so when you get lines like that's how I um, draw with these scribbles um, with my pencil especially but if you don't want that it's so easy to you know just move it around with your fingers So I guess that's what I'm going to do now. So just start to move it around. But being also deliberate on what I'm moving and why I'm moving it and where I'm moving it to. Okay, now I'm going to take my kneaded eraser. I've got some broken pieces there. Okay, so. And I'm going to kind of get it into a chisel point or a point or a chisel. Whatever is going to work for you is, is depending on where you are in the drawing. Depends on what shape you want. Um, it was something that has a little bit of an edge to it. So you can go in and start removing some of this charcoal, moving it around with the eraser. Smudging it with the eraser. Um, and when it gets that way, it's when it starts to move things around, smudge it. It's good if, that, if that's what you want. Um, but also you, you just have to clean it, move it around, clean it. If you want to really remove some, something. Or lightly move it around. So the eraser is also a, kind of like a drawing tool too. Again, a little quirky, but we're, it's it's getting built up. It's a lot of times, how my paintings develop, go through these hideous stages before they kind of start to reveal themselves. To me, this is this is kind of an exciting stage because I know I'm getting the medium down, and things are just kind of going to start to develop from here. Um, it's just fun to push this stuff around. Kind of, can, um, kind of assess uh, what needs to get darker, what needs to get lighter.
right now it looks like things just need to get darker in places and start to just carve some things out so looking at my reference image more than I am my drawing. Varying the pressure on the charcoal to vary the values. So, yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe I'm good with that. Something a little bit, maybe. I'll find a corner of his mouth, maybe. See, it, it, you can just go on and on. And just shift it, change it. Bring something new to it. But whatever you do, have fun with it. It's a beautiful reference drawing. Yeah, I love charcoal. And I hope you have fun with this.